Touching lives with healing, deliverance. God can create your miracle under six seconds. Prophetic utterance. I prophesy every miracle you need to end this year where I activate it now. You don't serve a dead God, you serve a mighty God. When they lift you up, no one can bring you down. When he opens your door, no man can shut your door. God is on your side. Devil is on your side. Miracle is on your side. Deliverance is on your side. Power is on your side. The prophet of our Breaking News 2012. Breaking News 2012. Liberation City present Breaking News 2012. A five days of powerful, inspired ministration and crusade titled The Unchangeable God. Your cobbernet shall be broken. Come receive your healing. Come receive your breakthrough. Every ailment, every sickness shall be gone for good. It is your set time for miracle. Come as the anointed man of God, Dr. Chris Okafor, will be ministering the word. Every Cause that was rendered by day, I stand to neutralize the cause. Every cause that was rendered by night, I stand to neutralize that cause. If they need them to curse you, I need them to bless you. If they lie down to curse you, I lie down to bless you. If they stand up to curse you, I stand up to bless you. If they hit their chest to curse you, I hit my anointed chest to bless you. If they hit their head to curse you, I hit my anointed head to bless you. If they hit the ground to curse you, I hit the ground to bless you. Guest speaker, Reverend Dr. Dauda Mawazi, Prophet Daniel Maseke, guest artist, Sami Okoso, Gozi Okeke, Evangelist Amaka Okwaha, aka Choma Jesus, James Muno, Joel Wamaka. Date is Wednesday, the 27th of June 2012 to Sunday, the 1st of July 2012. Breaking news. Wednesday, the 27th, 7 a.m., Thursday, the 28th, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., Friday, the 29th is the International Night of Prophecy and Solution, from 10 p.m. till you break through. Saturday, the 30th, 5 p.m p.m. to 8 p.m. for singles. And Sunday, the 1st of July, 2012, from 7.30 a.m. to 12 noon, is the Thanksgiving and anointing service. Come and be healed. Come and rejoice in the Lord. Venue is the Church Auditorium, Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministries, 9 Oshofeza Street, off Odozi Street, by a record bus stop, Ojudu Lagos. Breaking news. The unchangeable God is calling you. Come and meet with Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Judges chapter 6. Uh, from verse 14 and the lord looked upon him and said go in this thy might and thou shalt save israel from the hand of the midianite have i not sent thee verse 15 and he said unto him oh my lord wherewith shall i save israel behold my family is poor in manasseh and i am the least in my father's house verse 25 and it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thy father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years old, and throw down the altar of Baal that thy father had, and cut down the groove that is by it, and build an altar unto the Lord thy word upon the top of this rock in the other place, and take the second bullock and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the groove, which thou shalt cut down. Then Gideon took ten men of his servant and did as the Lord had said unto him. And so it was, because he feared his father's household and the men of the city, that he could not do it by day, that he did it by night. And when the men of the city arose early in the morning, behold, the altar of Baal was cast what? down, and the groove was cut down that was by it. And the second bullock was offered upon the altar that was built. And they said one to another, who had done this thing? And when they inquired and asked, they said, Gideon, the son of Joash, had done this thing. Then the men of the city said unto Joash, Bring out thy son, that he may die, because he had cast down the altar of Baal, and because he had called down the group that was by it. And Joash said unto all that stood against him, Will ye plead for Baal? Will ye save him? He that will plead for him, let him be put to death with its Yet morning. If he be a God, let him plead for himself. Because 
one had cast him what? Down. Therefore on that day he called him Jerubal, saying, Let Bar plead against him, because he had thrown down his word, his altar. Now go back to verse 15. Again. And they said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am the world. I am the least in my world. Lord, bless the reading of your word. Through your word, touch your people. Speak to your people. Change their family patterns. Destroy altars of wickedness from different families. Make way where there is no way. Heal the sick. Do what no man can do. Make way for your people. Lesson has come unto righteousness. Do what only you can do. And take all the glory. In Jesus mighty name I pray. I want to speak to you briefly on what I call changing the family pattern. Changing the family pattern. Can I hear amen? Amen. Sit down if you can. Changing the family pattern. If you look into some families right now, amen somebody, there are many things going on and some people have remained the same way they are because the old order is still in operation. That is one thing I came to help somebody for this morning. Every old order that is affecting you from your family is changing this morning for the better. If your amen be the loudest, I prophesy on you. Every altar of wickedness in your father's house, from your mother's house, you are coming out of it in the name of Jesus. Hear me very well. What is pattern? When we talk about changing the family pattern, that means there are two words we are going to look at. Family and what? Pattern. You understand what change means? Eh? They say only one thing that is constant in life is what? But there are many people, there are many families that will never embrace change. Somebody say change. Change. There are many families that will never embrace change. If you look at the scripture where we read, the Bible says something because they saw that it would be difficult. He was afraid of the people to destroy the altar by by day. So he went to do it by night. Why will he not do it by day? Because there are people in the family. Am I talking to somebody? There are people in the family, there are people in the community that will say, no way, it has been like that. You are a child. Why will you listen to me? For the fact that other people before you did not change it does not mean it's a good plan. I came to help somebody this morning. What stop others in your family? By the power of the Holy Ghost, you are going to stop that in. What destroy others in your family? By the power of the Holy Ghost, you are going to break out of it. If your amen be the Lord and shout yes. Sit down. Now, understand what I'm saying. Do you know there are some families they still worship idol up to today? Now, when sometimes you take pastors to go and pray, they say, no, let the pastor just pray. Am I correct? They say, let the pastor just what? They say, but this thing will not destroy it. This idol, no, will not destroy it. My forefathers serve it. My grandfathers serve it. My fathers, they serve it. Even it's my turn. I can't change it. Now, look at what he's telling you from his forefather that they were poor. His great grandfather, they were poor. His grandfather, they were poor. His father, poverty. So, what he's telling you, we will continue in poverty lineage. Now, look at what Gideon, look at what, what Gideon said here. He said, and he said unto him, Oh my Lord, where we shall I say this? Behold, my family is poor. My family is poor in Manasseh. Now, there are some family, there are some family, if you look at different things happening, there are some families you will never see prosperity. There are some family, are you hearing what I'm saying? What they go through is sudden death. There are some family, they are known for different kind of things. What is the cause of it? But Bible tells you something. It said, after Gideon had destroyed the altar, prosperity came. Now, what did he do? He destroyed the old altar and changed it with new altars. If you talk about families, And their pattern. What is pattern? Pattern has to do with a belief. Pattern has to do with mentality. 
So if you want to help somebody, you have to change the person's mentality. That it has been like this. There are people who believe, as it was in the beginning, so it will be now, and so it will continue. No. Change has to come. I said change has to come. And somebody had to move for the change. Somebody had to move motion for the change. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, that pattern has been there for long. The pattern is a pattern of poverty. It's a pattern of, of rise and fall. It's a pattern of sudden death. That your father went through the same pattern. Does not mean you will continue the pattern. That's why the Bible said something. When you are in Christ, you are a new creator. All things have passed away. And all things have become new. So when you get to the new order, you do away with the old order. There are old orders of poverty. There are old orders where people die sudden death because of the old time the family. There are there are patterns of family where no matter what people do, they can never produce a graduate. I came in the power of the Holy Ghost. Every pattern of old from your ancestors, from your grandfather, from your father, from your mother's side that has stopped you from moving to the next level. You are breaking out of it. You are breaking out of it. You are breaking out of it. If you believe the Lord, your amen, be the loudest. Sit down. The Bible said God told him, destroy the old altar. So when he destroyed the old altar, God told him to raise a new altar. I don't know the altar. The altar means the pattern. What the family is known for. What the family is used for. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some family you get into. As I'm talking to you, there is no progress. There are some family you get into. They are filled with wickedness. There are some other family you enter into. They are filled with sudden death. That is what the altar from their family sponsors. And you try to destroy the altar. Somebody says, oh, somebody tells you, you cannot destroy the altar. I don't care to know the power. I don't care to know the law. I don't care to know who is in the altar. But I came to help somebody in the name that is above every other name. Every law, every individual, every personality behind the altar that will not allow change to come. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. See that? When we talk about family order, personality are involved. Human beings are involved. Individuals are involved. Hear me very well, child of God. Do you know there are people because they say in our family, progress, there, there, there will never be progress. Are you hearing me? It has been like that. So they are used to any kind of where they are. That's the reason why you go to some places from generation to generation, they live in mud house. Mud houses. Am I correct? Any day a young man makes money and comes back to the village to build us, they kill that young man. They say he wants to change their family pattern. Because the altar did not just rise on its own. Somebody erected the altar. Somebody started the pattern. Somebody had to change the pattern. There are different of you. Your pattern is wickedness. Even after you are born again, you said you are a Christian. Wickedness, your family is known for wickedness. You say, don't talk to me like that. Too. In our family, we know they forgive you. Your pastor tells you, forgive her. You say, no. Go and ask my father. In our, you say you are born again. You see how the pattern, family pattern, is making you look yeah, yeah, short and yeah, yeah, tick. You say, ah, I'm born again, I'm born again, I'm a new creator. Greed, greed. You say, no, we know they play with money, oh, you go die with money, as you know, play with money. You say, no, we know, our family, we know they play with money, oh, even if now one other, we must, we must collect ammo. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are families like that. Because of the altar that God, they are very greedy. There are families that are known for drunkenness. Father a drunk, grandfather a drunk. You see the guy filled with the Holy Ghost, but the way he liquidates alcohol is unexplainable. The way, if he sees alcohol, born again we go one side. Are you getting what I'm saying? He will even go to beer parlor. 
So whatever you don't know is bigger than you. But it's left for you to say, I am tired. I want to come out of this. I want to cut out from this. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why there are families that are known for armed robbery. But some have given their life to Christ. What they now do, they no longer carry arms, but they still rob inside the church. You don't understand. Bring family of Judas anywhere, we'll still rob. There's a pattern that has to change. And somebody had to change the pattern. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody had to change it. It's a cycle which people must continue to go through. But I came to break that cycle of repetition. That's why, what, what makes you think so people will be in the church and something is sold for 10 naira, they tell you it's 15 naira. They are bold without fear. They have other power. They can eat church money. You can see the pattern where they are coming from. What will eventually kill them. Ananias and Sapphira. Because they came from a lying generation. When they sowed a plot of land and have agreed to give everything to God, they came before the man of God and still lied. Do you know there are people knowing all the anointing a man of God has still lied before him? Are you kidding what I'm saying? That a man of God keep you quiet does not mean you think you are, you are a gamma. You are, you are a mumu gamma. Very mumu one at that matter. You cannot guide God now. Is that to the crooked I will show myself crooked? I, I, am I talking to somebody? You are treating a brother in the Lord. You say it's because of you or because we are going to the same church. Oh. What they are selling 15 at other place. You are selling it to the brother because the brother does not have the idea. 16 naras. You say it's because we are, the brother is happy. You say, thank you, my brother, because we are in the same church. 17 naira. Thief. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? It's a pattern. And somebody had to change it. Listen, number one reason, the reason why people still remain what troubles your family still troubles you is because you have seen it that there is no problem that it has been like that after all my father was never rich so i don't need to be rich are you hearing what i'm saying so when the devil captures your mentality the spirit have dominion over you whatever is made reveal has been exposed so if the devil is able to keep that from you and the devil operate through your mentality in the same system of belief that you now say, ah, my father never made it. I will not make it. My mother never make it, made it. I will not make it. Nobody in my family has ever made it. It was like that, Gideon. He was the least in his father's family. But when God told him, he said, go and destroy the altar of your father's house. Why would the altar be destroyed? The altar means the old order. The way they reason, the way of their oppression. Where demons gather together, you know, to to give ideas, to provide ideas to the family. He says somebody had to destroy it to raise a new one. And that's why you see there are families. For example, if you come from a polygamous family, you are in trouble. Go and trace the history of polygamy. But I'm not going into that now. You are in trouble. That's the reason why this service is for you. No. If you are the firstborn of your family, this service is for you. If you are the first son, first daughter, this service is for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know, God said, Israel is my firstborn. So there are some gods in your families, there are some altars, some deaths in your family, that every first son or First child that is born into a certain family is dedicated automatically to that thing. Because you are the one that opened your mother's womb. You are the one that came out first from your mother's womb. You are the one that came to clear the way for others to come out. There are others and you never know where they dedicated you to. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now those days, it, those days many years ago, your grandfathers, your great-grandfathers, when they give back to, to a child, a male or a female, maybe the first child or the firstborn, they take the child 
And go to dedicate it to their God. Am I talking to somebody? Because the God, the covenant is that every first child will give back to every first son, every first daughter will come to dedicate it to you. Now, because it has been the way the family is known for. So anywhere you go to, you are, you are struggling, you are praying, but you don't know you are dedicated to somewhere. Breaking News 2012. Breaking News 2012. Liberation City present Breaking News 2012. A five days of powerful, inspired ministration and crusade titled The Unchangeable God. Yoke of barrenness shall be broken. Come receive your healing. Come receive your breakthrough. Every ailment, every sickness shall be gone for good. It is your set time for miracles. Come as the anointed man of God, Dr. Chris Okafo, will be ministering the word. Every cause that was rendered by day, I stand to neutralize the cause. Every cause that was rendered by night, I stand to neutralize that cause. If they kneel down to curse you, I need them to bless you. If they lie down to curse you, I lie down to bless you. If they stand up to curse you, I stand up to bless you. If they hit their chest to curse you, I hit my anointed chest to bless you. If they hit their head to curse you, I hit my anointed head to bless you. If they hit the ground to curse you, I hit the ground to bless you. Guest speaker, Reverend Dr. Dauda Mawazi, Prophet Daniel Maseke, guest artist, Sami Okposo, Gozi Okeke, Evangelist Amaka Okwaha, aka Choma Jesus, James Muno, Joel Wamaka, date is Wednesday the 27th of June 2012 to Sunday the 1st of July 2012. Breaking news, Wednesday the 27th, 7 a.m., Thursday the 28th, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., Friday the 29th is the International Night of Prophecy and Solution, from 10 p.m. till you break through, Saturday the 30th, 5 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. for singles. And Sunday, the 1st of July, 2012, from 7.30 a.m. to 12 noon, is the Thanksgiving and anointing service. Come and be healed. Come and rejoice in the Lord. Venue is the Church Auditorium, Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministries, 9 Oshofeza Street, off Odozi Street, by a record bus stop, Ujudu, Lagos. Breaking news. The unchangeable God is calling you. Come and meet with Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Say, I will escape. I will escape. Say it again. I will escape. Do you know you are sick? Huh? Do you know you are sick? But you will escape. Amen. Say, say, I will not die. I will, I will not die. Say, I will escape. I will escape. Come. Can I pray for you? This young man is about to die. I'm asking the Lord. The Lord said there is a connection. Come. Do you know this man? Do you know this man? He's my dad. Who is he to you? He's my dad. Your daddy. Do you know him? He's, my son. He's your son. son. Do you know where they call Owere in Imo State? Yes, Pastor. You are from where? I'm from Owere. In Owere, a place they call Obak. That's where I'm from. That's, my That's where you come from. My town. Now listen. Do I know you before? No. Do I know you before? No. Have I met you before? Never. Have you talked to me before? Never. Do I know who knows you? No. God took me to your family. He said, I should help you. You will be the one to escape. Amen. There is, an, there is an idol worship from your father's lineage. An idol worship. Are you aware of it? Yes, I'm aware. The idol, the worshiping of idol, there is blood on this foundation. Now, your grandfather was in charge of the idol before. When he died, he handed it over to your father. Are you hearing me? Your father did not take it. What your father did was to give the idol to somebody else. Exactly, that's what happened. Now, the idol your father gave to somebody else, your father thought by so doing, the idol will not disturb him again. Yes. Now, the idol is destroying people mysteriously. You are supposed to be a very wealthy man, but they brought you down from the top. Now your health is also involved. Because I see the stars of your children covered by that, by, by that idol. One, two, three, four. There are four stars. God says I should open. How many children you have? I had, I have, I had four. Now listen. Yes. But one is no more. Yes, one is no more. There are two girls. Two girls, exactly. And two boys, exactly. One of the girls is Ngozi. Yes. One of the one of, well, the other one is Onyeka. Exactly. The boys. <laughs> listen. The boys. The boys. One is Emeka. The other one, this one is Chimdi. Exactly. His name is Chimdi. 
You hear me? But the one that is called Emeka is dead. Yes. He went to a church. Yes. And the church he went to, the pastor of that church has name like my own. Yes. Eh? yes. So I don't want you to mention Yes, exactly. It. It's okay. Exactly. Now, as he was coming, when he met his death, he was coming back from church. He was in a taxi. Yes. And arm robbers shot him. Exactly. That is how he died. Now, this one now is also about to die. Your son is sick. Very, very. As very, I'm very, to you. very, very. Because that spe- the spirit that the manifestation that happened when Emeka died, it has also started. They say they want to kill Chimdi. Where's your wife? She's sick also and she's in the church. But in the spirit realm, I'm seeing somebody that has a swollen leg. She has swollen legs. Where is she? In 1932, 17th of April, in the afternoon. Around some minutes past 2 p.m., a pregnant woman was buried as a sacrifice for that idol by the power of the Holy Ghost. I break your family loose. I break this family loose. I command the power of affliction from the father's house out of him, out of him, out of him. Be healed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. It will dry off. Amen. From now. In Jesus' name. Out of her. Return no more. Thus says the Lord. Your family is free. Amen. Breaking News 2012 Breaking News 2012 Liberation City present Breaking News 2012 A five days of powerful Inspired ministration and crusade Titled The Unchangeable God Yoke of barrenness shall be broken Come receive your healing Come receive your breakthrough Every ailment Every sickness shall be gone for good It is your set time for miracle Come as the anointed man of God Dr. Chris Okafo Will be ministering the word Every- Cause that was rendered by day, I stand to neutralize the cause. Every cause that was rendered by night, I stand to neutralize that cause. If they kneel down to curse you, I need them to bless you. If they lie down to curse you, I lie down to bless you. If they stand up to curse you, I stand up to bless you. If they hit their chest to curse you, I hit my anointed chest to bless you. If they hit their head to curse you, I hit my anointed head to bless you. If they hit the ground to curse you, I hit the ground to bless you. Guest speaker, Reverend Dr. Dauda Mawazi, Prophet Daniel Maseke, guest artist, Sami Oposo, Gozi Okeke, Evangelist Amaka Okwaha, aka Choma Jesus, James Muno, Joel Wamaka, date is Wednesday the 27th of June 2012 to Sunday the 1st of July 2012. Breaking news, Wednesday the 27th, 7 a.m., Thursday the 28th, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., Friday the 29th is the International Night of Prophecy and Solution, from 10 p.m. till you break through. Saturday the 30th, 5 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. for singles. And Sunday, the 1st of July, 2012, from 7.30 a.m. to 12 noon, is the Thanksgiving and Anointing Service. Come and be healed. Come and rejoice in the Lord. Venue is a church auditorium, Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministries, 9 Oshofeza Street, off Odozi Street, by a record bus stop, Ojudu, Lagos. Breaking news. The unchangeable God is calling you. Come and meet with Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus' blood and righteousness